The experiment is determination of COD of waste water. The chemical oxygen demand determination is extensively employed as a means of measuring the pollution strength of industrial waste water. Chemical oxygen demand is a measure of the total quantity of oxygen required for oxidation of organic and inorganic wastes present in 1 litre of waste water sample. It is an important and quickly measured parameter for industrial waste water analysis and water treatment plants. The principle of the method involves the oxidation of organic matter using strong oxidizing agents like acidified potassium dichromate in the presence of silver sulphate as catalysts, which catalyzes the oxidation of organic matter. Silver sulphate reacts with chlorides in the waste water to form the precipitate. This difficulty is overcome by adding mercuric sulphate to the water sample which prevents the interference of chloride ions by forming a complex. The typical reaction representing the oxidation of organic matter is as shown. Now let us see the conduction of experiment. The reagents required for the experiment are as shown. The water sample, oxidizing agent, the potassium dichromate solution, standard FEA solution and 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid. The indicator used is ferroin indicator. Now for the experiment, the solution has been already pipetted out. To this, the oxidizing agent and the sulfuric acid have to be added. The oxidizing agent is pipetted out. Tenemel of potassium dichromate is transferred. Now to this 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid is added. about 10 ml of the acid is added. Now to the contents of the conical flask, boiling chips are added and the solution has to be reflexed for half an hour. Now the solution is ready for the experiment. To this, 3 to 4 drops of ferrine indicator is added. the solution turns greenish color. Now it is titrated against standard FA solution. This titration is the back titration which gives the estimation of unreacted potassium dichromate. Near the end point the solution turns from green to reddish brown. This is because the oxidation of the iron in indicator changes. So this is the back titration. Now the burette reading is 11.7. Now we will conduct the bl blank titration which is required for the experiment. 
So, I have already prepared dichromate solution. This gives the estimation of the whole dichromate required for the experiment. To this, 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid is added. and 2 to 3 drops of indicator is added. Now, it is estimated against the potassium dichromate solution. The initial reading is 11.7 and the titration is started. Here also the color change will be from green color to reddish brown. Now the burette reading is 36.4. Similarly, two more titrations are conducted for the concordance. Observation and calculations of the experiment. The amount of FAS crystals that has been transferred to prepare the standard solution is 4.731 grams. Normality of FAS solution is 0.0483 N. The readings of the back titration are tabulated as follows. Volume of FAs used for back titration, that is, the volume of FAs consumed by unreacted potassium dichromate is 11.6. The blank titre value is 24.7. The calculation part is as follows. The COD of the wastewater sample is found to be 202.48 milligram per liter of oxygen. The Viva equations are as follows.